Hello, welcome to a very curious place. I know, I'm feeling a little bit pent up, so I'm kind of out wandering. I figure I might as well get it out of my system before I don't have, while well, I have a car, because it's only like one more day after today. So, but yeah. Um, so today we're going to be talking Star Trek. Um, I am like a diehard, lifelong Trekkie. I, I just, I love Star Trek. Um, Dude, where are you even going? <laughs> Sorry, I don't know where he's going. <laughs> he's going someplace. But yeah, um, I, I I love Star Trek. I watched reruns because I wasn't alive when the first Star Trek, when the Star Trek, the original series came out. I wasn't alive then. But I've watched reruns of it my entire life. Um, I've watched all the movies. Um, I love them dearly. I will say this. Um, the original crew of Star Trek is my favorite. Um, I like Next Gen. I do. I like Next Generation. But I, I prefer the original series. Um, favorite characters off of the original series. You know what? The, I, I, I love the entire bridge cast. You know, uh, Kirk, Spock, Dr. McCoy, Sulu, Chekhov, you know, Scotty, Uhura. I love them all. Um, so I don't really have, I mean, they're all my favorites. But now when it comes to like the other ones, like Next Gen, um, I love Picard. And, you know, I, there's something about Riker. You just gotta like Riker just for the fact that, you know, he is basically a space slut. I mean, you know, and, you know, I, I, and I know Kirk was too, but I mean, there's just something about, you know, um, something about the way that Riker handles it, where he's like leaning on stuff all the time. And I don't know, his, his way is a little bit less subtle than Kirk's was, I guess. I don't know. But, uh, but yeah, I, I like Riker. I love Data. Um, I love, I love, I like all the cast, but I have to say that my absolute favorite character out of the next Star Trek Next Generation was Q. John Delancey is awesome. Seriously, awesome. Um, and I do, I will say this, that the next most favorite character after that is Majeel Barrett. Um, I, I loved her when she played Nurse Chapel. You know, I love her as uh, Loxana Troy. Um, she's just great, you know, and, um, there's just something about her, about her acting and everything. She's just awesome. But, um, but yeah, so, um, I do really, do really love her acting. I have no idea where I'm going. I really, really don't. I really don't. I'm like, I don't know what I want. Do I want pizza? Do I want, what do I want? What do I want? not a clue but um and this is for dinner tonight this isn't even for right now this is for dinner so but yeah um they're great you know what i'm gonna get taco bell because taco bell's cheaper and get a few burritos and cinnamon twists or an empanada something like that but anyway um so yeah um love loxana Lux, Luxana Troy, Michelle Barrett's character uh, on Next Gen. I love it. Um, when you start getting into the other Star Treks, I start to get a little bit less thrilled. Like Deep Space Nine, I was not a fan of Deep Space Nine. Um, I liked the episodes that had Q in them, Q in them, but I didn't really, I didn't really care for the rest of them. Um, now, Star Trek Voyager, I did like. I liked it more than like Deep Space Nine and all those other ones. Um, again, favorite episode episodes were the ones with Q in them. I mean, you know, I, mean, I I loved him in all every show. So, um, but I did love. I did like Voyager. It was not my favorite, but I liked it. It was like, it was like third in line. So it was the original series, Next Gen, Voyager. Um, like I said, wasn't a fan of Deep Space Nine. I liked the Q, Q um, episodes and that was about it. Um, when it comes to Star Trek Enterprise, you know, I just couldn't get into it. I, I really couldn't. 
and the most newest one, um, I just, I can't get into that one either. I just, everyone after, I, I will be honest, everyone after Deep Space Nine, I just really couldn't get into when it came to the shows. Um, I'm sure they were fine shows. I just myself personally could not get motivated to watch them. I, I don't know what it was about them. I know other people are just like, they're awesome. We love them. And I'm just like, eh, they're okay. You know. Um, now, the movies, I know, you know, when it comes to the movies, yes, I love the original Star Treks. I, I love the original Star Treks with, the, with every with the original cast. I will say this, my favorite movie is the one that most people hate. And for Star Trek fans, you probably already know which one I'm talking about. So yes, Star Trek, The Voyage Home. Most Star Trek fans, this is the one that they dislike the most. And you know, all I have to say about that is double dumbass on you. You know, I loved that. That was my favorite one. And uh, I'm not ashamed to say that. I, that was my absolute favorite one. But um, the new ones have caused such controversy. <laughs> I mean, everybody's like, no, no, they've ruined them. They've ruined them. Well, you know, they didn't ruin them. Um, I actually like the new ones. You know, um, I like Chris Pine. I love the other actors. You know, you've got Simon Pegascotti. Simon Pegg can't be wrong. He just can't. Um, you've got. To, I love Simon Pegg at everything. I just do. There. I, I have never seen a movie with Simon that Simon Pegg was in that I did not like, and that includes Mission Impossible. And I don't like Mission Impossible. I am not a Tom Cruise fan. I've never liked it. But when I saw the one with Simon Pegg in it, I was like, oh, maybe I like these now. I can just, you know, learn to ignore Tom Cruise in them. Just, just take Tom Cruise out. Just put more Simon Pegg in, you know. But and so I do. I love, I, I love Simon Pegg in that. Um, I love all the cast in the new ones. Are they just like the original ones? No. And I think the point is, is that a lot of people don't realize this. There had to be a change. There had to be because you couldn't keep going the way because I mean you had the original series the original cast Star Trek movies then you had the next generation Star Trek movies and <clears throat> which timeline were you gonna go with I mean really um, there had to be a change there had to be some sort of a uh, an alternate alternate alteration for I'm looking for there had to be some sort of alteration within the movies because of the fact that it's a whole new cast. You can't just keep recycling them over and over again. Now, if they had tried to go in and remake all the old Star Trek movies with the new cast, they would have botched that and screwed it up so bad it would have been horrible. But the fact that they didn't try and do that, because, you know, and, and they kind of just made it, made a whole brand new universe. And that's what this is. They changed it around and made a whole brand new universe. And that's what they, that's what it needed to have done. Because, you know, it, um, it, uh, I'm trying to make sure I'm not going to hit anybody. But it, that's what they needed to do. They had to do that. It, it wasn't really an option. I mean, it was, it was mandatory. Because there was no way they could continue on. It had to just kind of like start fresh you know if they had tried to go back and do it exactly the same way it would have been a nightmare. it would have been terrible it would have been horrible um they would have done a terrible job it would have everybody would have hated it even more um <clears throat> so yeah um i i like them the way they are do i think they're perfect no but the original ones and the next gen movies none of them are perfect either they they were in per they were perfectly imperfect is what they were they were perfectly imperfect and that's awesome i you know that's great i like that and uh, i think that's what i think that's what it needed to have you know i really really do and um but yeah, 
I think that's what it needed. It needed something that was, it needed to be perfectly imperfect. That's what made it on the same level as those. Is it as good as them? You know, I'm going to leave that up in the air. I'm not going to comment on that. <laughs> that might get me lynched. Um, so if I start saying they're as good as the original ones or even next gen ones, uh, the Star Trek, the Trekkies will come for me. Come for me. Um, so I'm not, I'm not going to say that. I'm going to say that I like them. They're not bad. And now that I'm in the turn lane, I'm thinking maybe I should have gone for pizza. That was great. <laughs> I'm in this lane now. We're going that way. So, that way. Um, but yeah. So, I, I do think that they're good. And I have not seen the most recent one. Um, but I've seen previews of it. And I really did like it. So, um, you know, I, I think that, you know, it, it's hard for people to... Um, to see change in something that they've grown up with that's been such a big part of their life as Star Trek. And it really is difficult for them and they tend to not cope well <laughs> with the change because it's like, no, that's my childhood. You know, and so, but I think after a while they kind of just gotta take a deep breath and just realize things change. They change and there's nothing wrong with that. It's just part of life. It changes. Just calm down and, and deal. So such a glare coming up here. But yeah, so, um, but I think it was hard for people when they first started putting them out. I think it, think the hubbub has kind of died down now though. And, uh, sorry, that's my coffee that's putting off a glare. Or something. That's, yeah, that's my coffee down there. But anyway, um, but I do. I, I love Star Trek. Um, Voyage Home is my absolute favorite movie. Um, I don't think I honestly have a favorite of the next gen movies. I like them. I've watched them all. I do love them. Um, I just don't think that I have a favorite. It's weird. I've never thought about that before, but I really don't. I don't have a favorite out of any of them. I just, I like them. I've watched them all. I'd watch them all again, but I don't have a favorite like I do with the original ones. Um, and I think it's the same with the newer Star Trek movies. I don't have a favorite of them. I, I like them, but I don't have a favorite. Um, but I think everybody has their favorite television, their favorite version of Star Trek and the TV shows, you know, um, whether it's Next Gen, the original series, you know, Voyager, you know, Deep Space Nine, Enterprise, you know, Discovery, whatever, you know, um, was it Discovery? I don't know. But anyway, everybody has a different favorite and it's just like the same with the movies. Everybody has a different favorite movie. And they have the different types of movies that they like. Some like the the newer ones better. Some like the next gen ones. Some like the original the original cast. It's just kind of it's just kind of one of those things where it's just like everybody's different and unique, and kind of we have to all kind of just like respect each other's choices. And I think that's one of those things that they really push in the Star Trek movies. You have to respect each other's differences everybody is special and unique so and uh and i think i think that's a good thing to learn and i think trekkies do do that fairly well occasionally we may have lapses but we're only human um but yeah star trek is wonderful um if you haven't watched any of the newer star treks watch them if you haven't watched any of the original series star treks or the original cast movies Oh my God, watch them. They're awesome. And, uh, but yeah, you know, I think it, I think there's something in Star Trek for everybody. So check them out if you haven't already. Much love from Monty in a very curious place. Stay strange. Bye.